guys, Wisteria Moon here, and today I am back in none other than Animal Jam Play Wild, and I was trying to catch a little nifty angle of my animal and my pet, but I can't seem to manage to find an angle where it doesn't look like the moose is actually punting the pet penguin, which is pretty tragic. I don't know what is up with this particular pet. It just like tries to be behind the moose, and it just looks like the moose is back kicking it now. See, it's just, it's a tragedy, folks. <laughs> I feel so bad for this little pet penguin. It's just being completely kicked in the face, you know? I don't know how to mend this situation. So anyways, yes, it has been a while since I've logged into Animal Jam Play Wild. And you know, it's very interesting, folks, because I was kind of thinking that, you know, I would have missed a lot in this game because I don't believe I've logged in for at least a month, at least. It's been a month since I recorded my last Animal Jam Play Wild video. So naturally, I thought that there would be a ton of updates, but I actually did a little bit of cheating this time around because, again, I assumed there would be a lot of updates. And as it turns out, there weren't really that many. In fact, the only major update I've missed since getting the brand new animal, the moose, or I guess the latest new animal, is a new den bundle, which was really interesting to me. I was kind of thinking that there would be like some new animals, some new pets, all kinds of stuff. I mean, I guess there was actually technically the new pet arctic fox, but I don't know if that's come out in the past before or not. And yeah, there were some new outfits and stuff, but I don't know. I just was expecting like a little bit more. I only missed like four pages worth of updates. So yeah, that was some interesting stuff. Of course, it will be like doing a quick little run through in this video and buying some of the latest and greatest of the play wild features, I guess, because I managed to equip myself with a couple more sapphires, which is nice. It's a nice little addition. So yeah, uh, that's kind of the deal. But before I get into that, I'm just going to be going around and showing you guys some of the new stuff that I was randomly given. So I'm going to like pop up the screenshots as I discuss them, because basically when I logged in, I was randomly gifted an entire den and a new pet and this other clothing item. Well, I guess that was the weekly member gift. Actually, I can just pop that on right now for y'all. It's uh, nothing special, just a magician's cape, but it's some snazzy stuff. I was gifted that as the weekly member gift, so I don't know. I guess that's not anything too special. But yeah, I think it's a nifty item. That was the weekly member gift that I was given, so I wasn't very surprised over that. But I was surprised about was getting this whole den. That is right, folks. The den that I am in right now was some completely random, I guess, member gift, maybe? I don't know. I just logged in and it showed up on the screen and yeah, there we have it. So I decided to come to my den and switch to it and I have not actually taken a wander around any part of it except for this upper level, but I just can't help but notice the little outhouse in the back, which is like really weird. I don't know why there's an outhouse in here, especially given that it's on its own platform. I'm like, how the heck do you even get to that? I don't know. We'll see if we can get to it or not. It just doesn't look that accessible. So anyways, yes, before I do a little den tour though, just have to acknowledge my last random gift, which was this pet penguin. And I thought that was some pretty adorable stuff. I don't know if that was from redeeming the penguin code because I know there's like a new code that you can redeem to get some like snazzy penguin stuff. It's a little follow up to the last video I did where Animal Jam basically roasted club penguin. So yeah, I guess all you do really is hit redeem code and play wild and enter penguins. But of course, I've already redeemed this code on Animal Jam. So it transferred over to play wild, gave me a free penguin animal and possibly the penguin pet. But yeah, I already used it. So it's not going to work. Anyways, if you want a free penguin animal, definitely redeem that code on Animal Jam or Play Wild. You'll get the animals on both your accounts. And yeah, the pet penguin, this little dude, I don't know if that comes with the penguin code or if it was some unrelated gift, but either way, I got it. So, you know, feel free to try that code. It was some snazzy stuff. I'm really a big fan of this dude. I'm digging the big eyebrows, some fun stuff. But anyways, yes, now let us go ahead and take a tour of the den. Actually, I low-key wonder if the den was part of that penguin code. That would be some really interesting stuff because <laughs> now that I think about it, it kind of fits the theme. So yeah, um, since I'm a very clueless jammer, let me know guys if this was also part of the penguin code because I can't really picture any other reason why I would have just randomly gotten this denim penguin, but it probably came from that code. I don't know. Who knows? I just need some informed individual to tell me. So anyways, yes, it's got this really interesting upper level. It's kind of like glowing. It's all like icy and like fresh looking. I'm a big fan of it, actually. I think it looks really splendid. And yeah, now we got this lower level with some super cool, like, icy tunnels. Of course, you can't walk into them. I guess they're just there for the aesthetic. And we also have the slide, which I should have just gone down to begin with, but I guess I'm just gonna head right back upstairs and slide down it, you know, for funsies. Oh, heck yeah. Would you look at that? We're going places today, folks. Oh, yes. Anyways, I really dig this aesthetic as well, the bottom floor. I mean, it, they all kind of look alike, you know, on the floor 
floors there's not that much differentiation but yeah this is like basically just a larger version of the second level and let's see can we go down even farther i can't really tell i can never tell with these dens especially in play wild because like the boundaries aren't that clearly written out i feel like hmm. yeah it does not appear as though i can leave this premise which is fine you know that's totally fine i didn't even really need to but yeah i just figured i'd try it out so yeah i guess we basically just have three levels down there and then this upper level with no clear way as to get to the outhouse which is really sad you know what's what's even the point of it if we can't use it some very tragic stuff but anyways yes i i dig this den i think it's some super kawaii stuff i was not expecting to get it so <laughs> that is fun my friends it's some very fun stuff and yeah i don't even know if you can buy this in the sapphire shop or not but i guess this den hmm, i'd have to rate it probably an 8 out of 10 you know i'd score it higher if it weren't for the fact that we couldn't reach the outhouse still very saddening to me but anyways that is not a part of the updates that i want to go over that was just kind of a side thing so i actually am going to be heading over to the jamaad township to check out the main updates of today and yeah well we'll see if we can go ahead and make any purchases so yes first of all we have this snowy owl armor which looks like some pretty cool stuff i feel like on the right animal it could look really nice but i don't know i'm kind of getting bored of all these armor slash outfit sets to be perfectly honest so i don't think i'm gonna buy that in today's video and yeah hopefully that's fine with you guys not really sure how interesting outfit sets are anyways these days because i pretty much have the same thoughts on all of them that they're kind of weird looking but yeah i i guess that's just me being judgmental so anyways here we have our announcement of the penguin code so yes after giving this a quick little read i've come to determine that the penguin pet that's been following us around through this whole video was actually given through this penguins code which makes sense and yes i did receive the animal penguin as well but i'm just not using it currently so yeah i don't know where the igloo deck came from i'm still very confused on that so someone please comment below and let me know because i'm a very clueless individual but yeah and then on the next page we have the snowy citadel it looks like we have an icy castle awaiting which looks very grand some bougie stuff so i'm really excited to get this but i am going to be getting it in the bundle and on the next page we have some more outfits i guess these are some dance outfits oh my goodness this is actually great this definitely seems inspired by the nutcracker play which is one of my all-time favorites it's like my favorite christmas play in existence i've gone to see it in new york city a bunch of times it's amazing Anyways, totally nerding out. I feel like these came out last year, but I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. Either way, some interesting stuff. I'm not gonna be getting them in this video because I am focused on the Snowy Citadel bundle because all of these items look beautiful, folks. I mean, I'm really looking forward to this bundle set. I feel like this is gonna be way better than the past den bundles that I've gotten. Not because there was anything wrong with them, but I was just like, I don't know. They were all right, but this one looks actually very, very beautiful. So I'm very excited for this. And then of course, our pet Arctic Wolves, which are super adorable. I think I have to pick one of these pet arctic wolves up because they're just too cute my friends they're too too cute the pet arctic wolves are some of my favorites even in desktop animal jam so yeah I'm really looking forward to that then we have some more outfit sets which again I don't really care about we've got snow punk armor which could be pretty cool and then gem holiday night armor which just looks absurd I mean there's just a lot going on but they probably could have modeled it on something other than hyena to be fair so yeah that's just kind of my take and then everything after this is old updates and you know I've covered most of the stuff at least I'd like to think i don't know it was like a lot at the time i don't think i got any of these outfit sets and i remember i couldn't really get all the animals that i was missing but i purchased them before making this video so now i have pretty much every available animal it took a long time to work up to so yeah let's go ahead and check out the sapphire shop i guess first we'll go ahead and purchase our pet arctic wolf and let us hit the little next button i kind of want to go with this because it reminds me of a husky and huskies are adorable fancy boy wow that ended up being the perfect name even though it has eyelashes but i guess it's just gonna be a boy anyway boy with eyelashes I loaf it. Anyways, I really adore this little pet arctic wolf, which I've actually just converted into a husky dog on my own terms. But, you know, we're just rolling with it. Also, this is completely unrelated, but I actually really like the armor set. Wow, who would have thought? I don't know where they got that, but I want it. Wow, nice. I don't even think it's in stores. Of course, the one armor set I would actually want, they don't even have in the sapphire shop. That's great. Love it. Anyways, you know what? It's fine. We didn't even need it anyway. So, yes. Let us go ahead now and purchase the snowy citadel bundle for 250 sapphires man we're really breaking the bank today but it looks gorgeous so i'm okay with that got the couch chair another chair another chair oh whoop de doo we got a lot of chairs and table window lamp sculpture tree another tree thank the lord we've got a lot of trees can't wait to pop those in there and we've got some hanging lights those are very pretty a rug more trees throne cloud <laughs> that's interesting and a snowy serenade perfect I'm still really bummed about that armor set though. I really want it. <gasps> she has it on trade. Dark amulet. 
dark crown. How in the heck did they get that? Well, folks, if you know how to get the dark armor set, I guess, that that random person was wearing, please tell me because I'm feeling very jealous, feeling very envious, which does not usually happen for Play Wild items, but it looks so pretty. I feel so ugly now. Anyways, gonna be heading on over to the good old Denaroni, giving it a little switcheroni. And huh, why does it say that the other den's a sapphire den? Because I just was randomly given it. It's so weird. Maybe it is still available for purchase. Anyways, holy heck, folks. This den is gorgeous. I mean, look at that sky. Look at that aurora borealis. And I'm really concerned about the fact that I'm standing like halfway off the ledge and not falling. That's some interesting stuff. Anyways, hmm. Wait, whoa. <laughs> okay, then. I was not expecting that. Um, nice. That, that seemed like a crash landing to me. I was totally not expecting to be transported all the way to the bottom, but you know, I guess we're doing a tour from the bottom up now. Um, what is this? A ski lift? Oh, I wonder if you can like go on that. That is interesting. So yes, uh, there's a giant platform down here and I'm still confused about the ski lift. Oh, wait. Oh, we can go on that. I don't know what I even clicked on to get on there, but huh. a lot of unintentional stuff's been happening in this den, <laughs> which is really interesting. But yes, we've got a bunch of platforms down here, some stairs, and yeah, we've even got our own little ice skating rink, which is super amazing. I really like the ice skating action of the moose. It looks very, very dandy. It's really adorable. But yeah, let's take it back to the top. Man, this den's got some like length to it. I like can't even cover it fast enough. I'm like running, dying. It's very large. I want to get to the top without accidentally sledding down. <laughs> Aha, here we go. Wow, guys, this is so beautiful. Honestly, this den is blowing my mind right now. Like this is a winter paradise. It looks like a glass castle or something, but the background is just, oh my goodness, it's amazing. So let's go ahead and do some decorating work. Oh yes, now we can get a full panning shot. Wow, wow, this is just so gorgeous. I can't. And there's so much room to decorate too. It's like a little paradise up in here. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Kind of reminds me of Elsa's castle. Y'all could do some serious uh, Frozen role playing up in here. I actually have a feeling that it was inspired by Frozen, come to think of it. Especially with the like aesthetic of the furniture. But yeah, let's get some thrones up in here. Ah, uh, yes, perfect fit. Alrighty, folks. So as you can see, I uh, took a little bit of a recording break because I somehow got incredibly sidetracked and decided not to be lazy for once and it took about an hour to decorate this entire den, which I was very, very impressed with myself for. But yes, um, essentially, I've come to the conclusion that this is officially my favorite Play Wild Den Bundle ever. Most of the den bundle items are up in this room at the top and I just think that they fit the aesthetic of this den perfectly. They're absolutely beautiful and yeah I just kind of decided I wanted them all together because they look really nice but for the other rooms I kind of just threw in whatever polar items I could come across which means there's just kind of a lot of random chairs and such <laughs> floating around aimlessly and a lot of random wintry items but still I feel like they fit the aesthetic pretty nicely. It kind of looks like a little wonderland in here which I'm digging. Yeah it definitely could have been more nicely decorated, I suppose. I mean, there's literally a blank room down here. <laughs> but, you know, that kind of is the struggle of having this den because it's very large. There's a lot of surface area and pretty much more space than items. So, yeah, there's a little bit of emptiness here and there, but I tried to fill what I could with some snazzy stuff and I actually ended up unlocking my den, as you can see. So, to any of my Play Wild viewers watching at the moment, please come give my good old den a visit because, you know, it took me a ridiculous amount of time to get it to the state. So yes, I would be very delighted if you all could check it out. But anyways, yes, overall thoughts are that this den is definitely my favorite that Play Wild has come out with in a very long time. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, which is a rarity for me. That is a very, very rare rating in my book. But yes, I think that these wintry items are amazing and it's a great little update for Play Wild to have added. I can really tell that whoever designed this den and the items in the den bundle set really took their time and I think it is a very worth worthwhile bundle in terms of den item bundles, especially given all of the space that you have to decorate with. It is just beautiful. And yeah, it's also great if you're a fan of Frozen because I pretty much see this as <laughs> Elsa's snow castle. I mean, literally, it looks almost identical to it. Look it up. It's a fact. So anyways, folks, yes, that is my overarching thought on this update. I guess I haven't really reviewed anything else but the den, but I mean, let's be real. That's kind of the central focus of it. So yeah, definitely thought this was a solid update. Definitely in love with this den. And yeah, I I guess that, that pretty much concludes today's little play wild update. So yes, folks, please be sure to comment below your thoughts on this den and the den bundle items. Let me know what you all think of this update. And with that, as always, friends, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!